are going to be uh, having our Unitarian Universalist Hymn and Aspiration, led by two of the children in our production today, Andrew Cleland, if you will come forward, and Stephen Perea. And if you all join us in your hymnal, at the back of the hymnal, if you open up at the back of the hymnal, please rise with us now and join us in our Unitarian Universalist Hymn and Aspiration. September 4th, 1941, the unending war against the Nazis is tearing our families apart. Because of the nightly firebombing, thousands of school children have been sent away from their parents to stay in the countryside with friends and relatives. And here in London, 23 people have still not been accounted for from last night's firebomb. Love 
Come out here, children. The air raids don't come out nearly this far. Oh, I just wish Mother and Father could be safe with us here. Only that Father said not to worry about them and the war would be over soon. That's true, Peter. Don't worry, Susan. Isn't this the most super house you've ever been in? The gardens, the statues, that magnificent spire. Why, it's all right here in this book. Marbleton Manor. Marbleton Manor, that grand mausoleum, holds more brick and brack than the British Museum. Its rooms and its galleries ramble for miles. A hodgepodge of odd architectural styles. Ancient and strange, most probably Celtic or possibly Viking. The mansion is Gothic in much of its feeling. The plate and the Norman in parts of the ceiling. The splendid old tower is high Romanesque. Combined with a variant version of Persian, grotesque. <laughs> Like shifting patterns of shadow and space, creating a strange comfort and a balara of greatness and grace. Doors and windows open and close, they hide or expose.
Uh, are you a daughter of Eve? I am Lucy. What they call a girl? Not girl. <laughs> Fancy that now. A human right here in our I'm sorry, but I've never seen a human before. Oh, what do you do? I'm a fawn, of course. My name's Thomas. Oh, well, I've never seen a fawn before. <laughs>
luck I found you. You see, all my life, I've been looking for a very special boy to bring up as a prince. A prince? Yes. <coughs> prince Edmund, and someday King Edmund. Oh, Your Majesty, I think I have just the right personality to be royalty, if you don't mind me saying. Not at all. That is exactly the way a prince should feel. But before we can proceed with your coronation, there is one thing. What's that? Your brother and sisters. You must bring them to me. But why? Um, there's some non-new tradition. The family of a prince must be present at the crowning. But after that, they would become mere courtiers. Servants under you. Way, way under me? <laughs> way, way. But for my prince, I have storehouses and storehouses full of Turkish delight to eat whenever you like. There in our house, across the frozen lake. Storehouses full? Yes. Bring the others to me as quickly as you possibly can, but keep this all a secret from, from them. That will increase the fun. You can walk across the lake. The ice is safe. Go. <laughs>
promises, they only need to make them. <laughs> Get this thing out of my sight. We must be off. Where are we going? The stone table, you idiot. Keep going. Got to get you to Aslan before she catches us. And if she's got Edmund, why we've just got one more problem. I hear Slavo. Quick, everyone, hide! Quick! Oh, 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 Oh. 
You will grow into it, my boy. Actually, these are not toys I give you, but tools. Yes, tools. And Susan, this is for you. We'll always cherish these gifts as a token of your generosity. Good, good. With this ivory horn, you can summon aid when you are in distress. And I think help will come to you. Lucy? Thank you. But the contents are more precious still. A few drops to someone who is hurt. And if there is life still in them, he will be returned to full health. Thank you, kind father. Oh, you are most welcome. And this is for Edmund. Give it to him when you see him, dear. I can't stand the sight of him. Hardly a Christmas sentiment. Well, he doesn't deserve it, but I'll take it to him anyway. Oh, thank you, thank you. Enjoy yourselves and yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Santa. Long live the, the true, true King, King Harsephon. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
give come. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, children of Adam and Eve. Very pleased to meet you, sir. Peter, Lucy, Susan, step closer. I feel so much less unnerved now. Where's the fourth child? The most horrible thing has happened. He ran away from us. He's with the wind. Sir, can we save him? We must try. We need him to fulfill the prophecy. But first, give me the sword. Kneel, children. I knight thee, Dame Susan. I knight thee, Dame Lucy. I knight thee, Sir Peter. Thank you, Oprah Lion. Your rescuers 
I wish I had been under her power. I didn't mean to betray my brothers and sisters. They never would have let me be a prince. They never do what I want. They never listen to me. The witch said I was special. She promised me that. Look into my eyes, Edmund. I can't. It's like looking into the sun. Look into my eyes, Edmund. Tell me what you see there.
She's cut her army to pieces. It's only a matter of time before she wants to finish us off. Peter, let me go to the witch and turn myself up. No, Edmund. Aslan sacrificed himself for me, and by all that's right, I should do the same for you. What if's dead and the prophecy of the fourth throne falls through? She'll let you three go. I can't let you do that, Edmund. Why not? Because the witch will promise anything, but she'll never let us go. We'll fight her together, the four of us. Where are the girls? Susan, where's Aslan's army? Where are Peter and Edmund? I'm not sure. With all the chaos, we've gotten separated. We're lost. Susan, I'm excited. What do we do? This has all been a nightmare. We should just lie low until they find us. I know, the horn, Father Christmas gave me. He said it would sound help. But supposing the witch should hear it? I think we have to take the chance. To come this far, we've got to have faith. Well, here it goes.
Once a king or queen in Narnia, always a king or queen. That's what Aslan said. And now, everyone from Narnia, please, up on stage. For a Thank you. 